Welcome back to Cradle to Grave R. My name is Mark Gingrass, and I'm going to teach you a quick tip on how to uh, save a plot from ggplot to a Microsoft Word file. This is in response to a user that had a comment, and I'll show you that comment now. It is basically, you know, he was thankful for this for this R correlation plot, but he had some further questions. I'm going to attempt to answer the last question here where he says, you know, how do you... Uh, Put this into Microsoft Word format when you're done. And uh, I don't have time, unfortunately, to answer all the questions, but I will show you how to do this real quick, at least the basics, so you can go and research more. That being said, if you enjoy Practical R or Absolute Beginner's Guide to R, please uh, hit the subscribe button and like this video, and I'll definitely be doing more of these. Let's jump right into it though. What you want to do though is you want to first click on packages and we're going to install a new package called Office R. Sounds like Officer, O-F-F-I-C-E-R, Office R. And you might, if you start researching how to use Word documents, you might run into a package called Report ERS, I believe. Um, that is going to be obsolete and it, in fact it's not even in the CRAN uh, repository anymore. So, But when you do your research, you're going to see that a lot and it's preferred to use Office R. So type that in and click on install. I've already done that, so I'm gonna jump right in. Once you've installed, let's do library and just do Officer. I will zoom in on this code for you. So uh, load the library and then let's obviously load the ggplot2 library because we're gonna need that as well. So first we'll create a plot. Uh, this is just gonna be a basic plot uh, using my favorite set of empty cars. We'll do an aesthetic of um, the X is equal to miles per gallon. You've all seen me do this a few times in these videos. <laughs> uh, we'll do the Y axis as the weight and we'll just add a uh, color equals Q sec. Sounds good. And then we'll add a, a geometry. We'll do geom point. And if you, ha if you don't know ggplot, there's a few videos that I have that'll help um, get you at least started with that as well. You can, I mean, you can go days and days learning ggplot. It's, it's got an unbelievable amount of features and functions. So I'll just add a minimal theme to it and I will control, I will run that, see if it even works. It should pop up below me here. And what am I missing? What am I missing? QSEC, QSEC. Hey, it's always something. Q. SEC. Boom. All right. There we go. Now you see the plot. It's not um, anything super fancy, but it's there. You know the plot works. So let's go ahead and just save that plot. So I'll just come up here and call this GG for my, my plot, and we'll save that entire thing as a variable. You can see the variable in my uh, environment right here. So let me jump back into the code. Now that that's saved, it's only saved in RAM. Don't forget. It's not actually saved on the disk. So note that you're, uh, you're probably in some sort of project. So um, you can do get working directory. In fact, let's do that right now. In the console down here, you can do get wd, and you can see where your files will be stored when we do these basic functions. All right, so back to it. Let's do a gg save, which I don't think I've showed you guys yet. So gg save, it's pretty simple. We're going to save. Uh, what are we going to call it? We're going to call it um, image.png. Um, what am I going to bring in to save my plot that I just created GG and then you can add a width and a height if you want So I'm going to say width equals 4 height equals 3 and you can uh, specify units as well units equals and I'll do inches So I digress. Let's jump before I hit. I didn't hit enter yet on that I want to show you my directory here. I have a couple of files here in this project all right, so I'm going to show you that I'm going to add uh, that file here. So I'm going to jump back over to ggsave. I'm going to run this line. Boom. Now if I jump back, you will see that I have a image.png file. I can even double click on it. You can see it. It's there. All right, so that's part of the battle has been won. Okay, now we want to create a sample document that we're going to use as like an object for Word. So that's going to be as simple as, because we have the officer package loaded, we'll just call it um, my Word doc, something like that, and set it equal to read docx from the 
officer package. So once you run that, you create the object. So now you can play around and add stuff and do stuff to it. Now, again, it's in RAM, not on the file system yet. So what we want to do is we want to add something to it. So my word doc, uh, we're going to say is equal to, uh, we're going to do body add image. So there's all, all kinds of different things you can add. You can add it in the body. You can add it within text already. You can add it to where the cursor is, but we're not going to get that far with this now. But we want to say, well, what are we trying to add? Well, I'm going to add my Word doc. So I'm going to bring in my Word doc, and I'm going to say the source is equal to the image we just created, image.png. And of course, in here, you can actually put the width as well and the height equals three. So run that and nothing has been created yet. You can see if I jump back over here, I only have that image, I don't have a Word document yet because again, it's in RAM. All we do is we print the uh, My Word doc and say target equals and whatever we wanna call it, we'll call it My Word doc dot doc x. Simple as that. Command enter on that. Let's jump back. And now you can see that I actually have my word doc dot doc x here. And let's open it up. All right, there it is. This is a word document. You can see it. Now placement and all the other stuff you could possibly do with this because you can move it, you can resize it, you can open up a document that's already um, uh, it's got content in it and you can say hey search for this and insert here but this is a very basic way to get started with using Microsoft Word within R so that you can you know um, automate all these steps just like the user Paul mentioned so that's it again if you guys uh, like these types of videos I try to make them practical I'm gonna try to uh, do practical examples from beginning to end so that you can actually get these um, uh, video get some use out of these videos all right I will see you guys in the next video